Today, we're going to look at a BodyViz brain builder about the small intestine and lactose intolerance. Lactose intolerance occurs when your body is unable to break down lactose due to a lack of the enzyme lactase. In this brain builder, we will discuss the anatomy of the small intestine, the enzymatic breakdown of lactose, and the symptoms of lactose intolerance. Finally, a patient example will explain the diagnostic process and plan for treatment. Lactose is a carbohydrate found in milk and many food products. While it may come at no surprise that dairy products such as yogurt or cream contain lactose, bread and baked goods, processed meats, non-dairy creamers, and other processed foods such as snacks and soups may also contain lactose. The small intestine, averaging 20 feet in length, mainly functions to absorb nutrients from digested food. Its three segments are the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. The duodenum, the shortest segment, curves around the pancreas in the upper right abdomen. The jejunum, in the left upper quadrant, accounts for two-fifths of the remaining length. The ileum, the largest part in the right lower quadrant, lacks a clear demarcation from the jejunum. Using the lumen of the small intestine as a point of reference and moving from superficial to deep, these layers are termed the mucosa, lamina propria, muscularis mucosi, submucosa, muscularis externa, and serosa. Microvilli are tiny projections on individual cells. Villi are larger, finger-like projections with a core structure and plicae circularis are transverse folds that run along the inner surface of the small intestine. Together, these structures maximize the absorptive surface area, ensuring efficient nutrient absorption in the digestive process. Let's take a closer look at the mucosa. The digestion of lactose requires the enzymatic action of lactase, produced by the microvilli of the mucosal epithelium in the small intestine. Lactase breaks down the disaccharide lactose into its two monosaccharides, glucose and galactose. This enzymatic activity is crucial for the absorption of glucose and galactose into the small intestine. What happens if lactose cannot be broken down into its more useful parts, glucose and galactose? Let's take a look at the symptoms, causes, and treatment for lactose intolerance, and then give a patient example. The symptoms of lactose intolerance depend on your age. Congenital lactose intolerance is an inherited condition where infants cannot break down lactose in breast milk or formula, leading to severe diarrhea. Without treatment, infants may face dehydration and inadequate weight gain. Congenital lactose deficiency stems from a genetic deficiency in the gene responsible for lactase production, impacting either the enzyme's production or functionality. Lactose intolerance develops later in life for many adults due to a lack of sufficient lactase production that typically emerges after infancy. Symptoms like diarrhea, flatulence, nausea, abdominal pain, and bloating usually arise within two hours of consuming lactose-containing dairy products. Adult lactose intolerance typically results from two factors. The primary factor involves a gradual decline in lactase production as individuals age. A secondary, less common cause is an increased sensitivity of the small intestine's mucosa to lactose. Lactose intolerance is diagnosed through a comprehensive assessment of your physical condition and family medical history. Various tests may be employed in the diagnostic process, such as a lactose tolerance test, hydrogen breath test, and stool acidity test. Treating lactose intolerance commonly involves two approaches, either eliminating all lactose from the diet or using lactase supplements during food consumption. For those opting to cut out dairy entirely, it becomes essential to supplement with vitamin D to prevent deficiencies. Some individuals may determine how much lactose they can consume without discomfort or negative symptoms by carefully monitoring their diet. Lactose intolerance is a natural variation in digestive function that appears as one ages. With careful dietary choices, those with lactose intolerance can lead healthy lives. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You receive your patient's file and take a look. Age, 20. Sex, male. Chief complaints, discomfort after consuming dairy products. You invite the patient into your office for an examination. 
your patient frequently experiences bloating and diarrhea after eating foods that contain dairy. Out of the three lactose intolerance tests, you decide to perform a hydrogen breath test. In a lactose intolerance test, a similar process is used, only blood glucose levels are tested instead. Your patient is too old to have a stool acidity test conducted, which is used for infants and children. Your patient fasts overnight prior to their next appointment to prepare for the hydrogen breath test. After an 8-hour fast, your patient consumes 10 to 12 ounces of whole milk and waits for 2 hours. The results confirm lactose intolerance after high levels of hydrogen are present in his breath. You work with your patient and discuss limiting lactose intake and consider lactase supplements in case they want to eat dairy products in moderation. Your patient will have to monitor his digestion and consumption of foods that may contain lactose, as well as work with a physician to find a healthy lifestyle. This is a classic example of lactose intolerance. Thank you for watching this Brain Builder video. Please like and subscribe to our BodyViz channel, or if you are new at BodyViz, check out our other anatomy resources and schedule a demo at bodyviz.com.